To begin, we open our command prompt and run as administrator. We then type in the command npm install g ionic. This command uses Node's package manager to install ionic as a global tool. With ionic installed, we can navigate to whatever folder we want to create our first app in and type the command ionic start and the name of our app. The first thing Ionic asks us is what template we want to use. We use a blank template for this app because a blank template allows for more modification along the way. The next thing Ionic asks if we want to install the Ionic AppFlow SDK. We won't do this time around, mainly because it requires an Ionic account. And with that, our Ionic app is created. If we check our directory, we'll see our folder there, first app, which we can now navigate into and run the command Ionic serve. This command runs our app on a node server. For those using a node server for the first time, you will be prompted to allow node to run a server on your computer. Once you allow node to run a server, your app will open in your default browser. And just like that, we've created our first application with Ionic. If you are using a browser like Google Chrome, you can inspect your application and see how it looks like on different smartphones. Once you are done looking at your application, you can go back to your command line and end the server process with control C. You're asked if you want to terminate the back job. You enter Y for yes, and you are done.